We would like to welcome Ajay Balumurugadas and Rahul Parwal for this next session. Ajay is currently working with G-SPAN as Senior Director and Rahul is a Software Tester and Generalist at IFM Engineering in India. Ajay and Rahul would be speaking on Test Leadership Without a Title. If you wish to know more about Ajay and Rahul, you can check out the link on the screen and watch their video interview. Over to you, Ajay and Rahul. You can share your screen and start your session. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thanks a lot, Ajay. Ajay is a, a great mentor. He has written many books. Guys, he is one of those guys who is actually in community, for the community. And a big thanks for him to be part of this conference. Thank you so much, Ajay. Over to you. Thank you, Aditya, sir. And uh, thank you, everyone. I'm trying to share my screen. You know, you get that uh, small butterflies flying in your stomach and, and that's what Am amita bachchan also says actually so you are our amita bachchan ajay uh, I've, I've, I've spoken at multiple conferences but i still get that butterflies feeling okay okay good so you see the slides yes ajay yes. okay good so there are uh how many folks there are 35 people here so i don't want to uh you know, waste a lot of time. So what I will do is one minute, I'll go through all the slides and then uh, you can decide if you want to stay uh, and lose one minute time rather than the entire uh, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, so let's quickly go through. So we'll start with role plays. Um, Rahul is unfortunately not here and uh, we have recorded some role plays. So we'll play a bad approach of leadership and good approach of leadership. Then... We'll discuss about where are the opportunities to lead in testing and uh, how titles might not solve these problems in the long run. And uh, finally, we'll wrap up with a framework to be leader to be a leader in testing. So let's quickly go through. So this is the slide and the role play. And then after that, we have opportunities in testing. It's a mind map. We'll talk about where all we can contribute and things like that. And then uh, some quotes followed by a leadership framework and then of course surprises for those who stay back till the end right so i'll not reveal the surprise so we'll go back so yeah that's it so anyone who feels like i've kind of understood the gist i don't want to join uh, the journey you know please make the best use of your time and everyone else thank you for staying back so let's go through. Just perfect. So we'll start directly with the uh, role play. So pause it. Hopefully, no ad comes up now. Hi, folks. One second, Rahul. I just increase the speed of this talk and also make it maximize rahul all yours hope you're having a wonderful day filled with learning and amazing experiences thank you for joining this session and today i and ajay are going to talk about test leadership without a title a lot of people think that leadership is for senior people leadership is for managers leadership is for cto cxo cfos but can you also lead even if you don't have the title the answer is yes so in this talk Ajay Palamurgadas and I, Rahul Parwal, are going to talk about this interesting topic with help of some practical ideas, some of our experiences and insights from our career, and we will do some fun. We will start with some role plays. We will share two role plays of different scenarios. We want you to watch them very carefully. Take your notes if you want to. Make a note of what was good, what was bad in both the role plays, and in the end, we will share our insights. So hold your seat tight and stay tuned. So let's start with the role plays. Hey Rahul, um, as you requested, I've got a new assignment for you. Would you be interested to explore that for this customer? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, because, I mean, I, I, I've never explored an application at the start. You know it, right? So, maybe you can just check with Mahesh and then give it to me. See, Mahesh really does it, but this time he's on leave. I thought it will be a good experience for you. And anyways, I'm there to help you. So, you know, just take it up. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. What do you think? 
uh, yes, uh, okay. I mean, if you say so, yes, uh, but uh, okay, I will connect with the customer and start some discussions. Perfect. So do let me know if you need any help. Okay. Sure. Sure. Thank Thank you. You. Hey, Rahul, uh, did you get a chance to meet with the customer, explore the requirements? Uh, I uh, actually, I mean, nobody messaged me and uh, I also didn't connect with anybody. I thought somebody will message me. Uh, should I ping somebody? Uh, do, you, do you want me to connect oh, to somebody? Okay. No, I thought you already knew the customer's point of contact. Anyways, I will, I will initiate a thread. I'll, I'll look, I'll connect both of you and then uh, you can discuss. Thank you. Thank look you. Email. Yeah. Thanks okay. uh, that would be a really great. And thanks a lot. Uh, so good. I, I hope your meeting went well. Uh, have you analyzed those requirements? Uh, I, I, I did the call and, uh, I also did the recording of the call. So I have the video of that recording and, uh, I can let me show you that video uh, of the meeting recording. And from no, that, no, no, no. I mean, the meeting went for like what more than an hour. I don't want the meeting recording. Do you have a summary, uh, or at least a, any follow-up meeting was planned? Any any minutes of meeting? Can you share? So, I mean, actually, I have not asked customer for any follow-up meeting, and uh, they also didn't call me. And uh, I said I will check this, and then I will let them know. So I have to right now like just revisit the recording once and take notes and uh, then I can share you some pointers maybe. And uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on this. Uh, so this just happened like last week and you know, right, I, I was on some different work and uh, I will just check it in this week and, and send it to you next week. Before next week, I think by Friday I will send you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ajay, can we play it on point by What a mail from the customer. Looks like you have not shared any test estimations. Uh, I mean, did they ask that? Sorry. Ajay, I think uh, people are not able to follow up. Can we reduce the speed? Yeah, thanks. I did not even see that in the uh, summary pointers. Did they ask for estimation? Uh, they asked for it. So they they said, I mean, they said that uh, share some plan uh, and timelines. So I think that is what you mean by estimations, right? And uh, have you forgotten what they asked? They they said about the plan. Send the test plan, not the estimation, uh, and uh, also the timelines of the plan. So I, I, mean, think, I, waited. I think I should have waited for Mahesh to come back. Uh, this is double work, Rahul. I, I really don't like what's happened. Uh, I'll never get uh, customer related discussions today. I'm sorry. No, I am sorry. You don't be sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> Hey, you know, I've got a new assignment from this exciting customer. Who would be interested to explore that out? Hey, Ajay, uh, thanks a lot. I would be glad to do this. And uh, I'm always excited for customer engagements and, and doing that. So I've already communicated that. But uh, as you know, I mean, uh, that I don't have any prior experience in this. So I may need some assistance from you. So that's all. But yeah, I'm interested. Cool. I, I do understand that you have not done this before. Usually Mahesh is the one who does all of this. Uh, he's on leave. So I thought, you know, this will be a good opportunity for you to learn. And uh, in case of any doubts, I'm always there for you. So uh, feel free to pick this up. And uh, if you have any questions, do reach out to me. Sure. So just a quick question. Uh, would you be sending out the invite to the customer? Or should I go ahead and send that out? No, I think uh, you can go ahead and own this project and uh, you can set up the meeting. You can keep me as optional. And uh, yeah, I'll see my calendar and then decide. Perfect. So, sure, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Ajay, did you check out yeah. the, did you check out the minutes of meeting that I had shared with you? So, I have also updated them in the customer MOM sheet that we have on Teams. Hey, thanks, thanks, Rahul. I need to check them out. Is there anything that needs my immediate attention? Nothing for now. Uh, I am exploring the new requirements right now, putting some questions, looking into the product documentation. I also have access to their source code uh, management tools. I'm looking into code commits, technical review diagrams. The customer has shared some with me and some they will share by next week. And uh, as I said, parallelly, I'm also noting down some questions that I plan to ask them in the upcoming and follow-up meetings. That, that sounds like a lot of good work done already. Very good. And uh, do let me know if you need anything from my side. Okay. Thank you, Ajay, for being supportive. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I also read your article on exploring requirements. Because as I said, I was doing it for the first time. And uh, before I went to the call, I referred, referred that. And I found these context-free questions for testing. And they, those were very useful. But when I asked them, the customer showed their confidence in me. And I could see 
that they would see that I understand what I'm doing. And that's a wonderful resource. That's uh, something nice. So I think we can also create our own contextual equation tuned to our specific context and domain. So maybe oh, we can refine that that's, and somewhere. That's that's wonderful. I mean, I, I can't control my excitement of you know having you in this project. I'm I'm happy that I gave you this opportunity. So next time, maybe for anything related to exploring or uh, similar projects, I think uh, I'll recommend you and Mahesh can pick up other tasks as well. Okay, so that was uh, the role play. So let's minimize this. Hi, folks. Hope you are having a wonderful day filled with learning. Yes, let's not repeat. Okay, good. So that was two role plays. First one where we saw the not so recommended approach, wherein uh, the person had to wait or waits for every instruction. You tell me, I will do it. I will not think, right? So that is approach number one. Approach number two is where I will take the next action. I will think for myself and I will decide what is best for the project. And then I'll just go ahead and do it. Okay, so that uh, is an example of good leadership. You always don't need a title uh, or a position to take action. So let's see where all can we take this action. Uh, the opportunities in testing where you could lead is understanding users better. You could research about the company. You could try out products from the competition. Let me also try out uh, an option. Okay, fine. Here's. Let me just go back. So I've stopped sharing the screen. Uh, don't worry. And uh, let me share my screen again. So meanwhile, you can leave your comments in terms of how you felt about the role plays. That's awesome, Ajay. One positive note from 35, we have reached almost 50 people. So it, the session is interesting. Uh, that is one interpretation. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. So uh, if you get a chance, do talk to the users. And finally, be a user. Uh, I am testing, uh, say, uh, an application where I can buy stocks. As a tester, I can think of n number of scenarios, but then go ahead and become the user of that product if you get a chance, if it is possible. Then you will realize and also pay attention to the emotions behind what the user might feel. Okay. Help onboard teams quicker. You know, if you know something that others don't know, don't keep it to yourself. Oh, I would lose my position. I would lose the power. No, you would become irreplaceable and you will not be promoted. You will not be put on other projects. Don't get into that strange situation. So instead, prepare documents and videos. Document your thought process. If you faced common issues you know, during the project while well, setting up, not knowing whom to contact or... Um, getting to know about a new process, document all of that. Also create a FAQ, frequently asked questions, so that when a new member joins your team, the project, they are able to deliver value right from the first week, or rather what will happen if they don't deliver, they'll have to go through all the process that you went through and then make the same mistakes, irritate you, take your time in learning about you, uh, learning about the project and then they will add value. Okay. So don't get into that situation. If you know something, teach it to others. If you don't know something, learn it from others. Simple uh, policy that works everywhere. Hiring. You can contribute in hiring as well. Uh, many people see the unrealistic JD job description, but don't do much about it. They put it in the comments of that. LinkedIn post. If it is coming from your company, 
please go ahead and correct that JD first. Talk about the testing, what you do in your company so that testers from other companies, testers from other communities, you know, uh, from other domains, they understand what opportunities they can get in your company and then they are well prepared. And if you find people with Spark, the testing Spark, go ahead and create a job role for them. Is it possible? Very much possible. Hire good people, find the jobs for them. Don't wait for a job opening to find a good person. You can also contribute in interviews. If you have ever asked a question that can be Googled, the, whose answer can be found by just by Googling, uh, negative points for all of you. Okay. Ask skill-based questions. Ask the questions that someone who has really done that work should be able to answer. What is the difference between X and Y? Don't ask that. I, if I can spend three weeks learning about all the definitions, learning about all the top 50 questions, I can clear your interview. What will you do? I'll get into your company. I'll waste your time. I'll make sure you pay me the two notice period on firing, right? I'll, I'll in fact, uh, trouble you more than actually add value to the project. And you being the interviewer is responsible for hiring. So when you're taking interviews, focus on communication attitude as well. And please do ask skill-based questions. Uh, how is this related to leadership, test leadership? Of course, you as a leader are going to solve some problems which might arise in future. Isn't that a quality of a leader? Preventing problems? Think about it. You can always challenge the status quo. Aise hi chal raha tha. This is how it has been always. So better not ask. No, ask. Why, why is this like this? Why should we do like this? Uh, I'll follow it, but just tell me why. Uh, because um, my manager taught me so. Okay. What was the size of the team then? When was this? What project will we be working on? And what are we doing right now? Is there a difference? Think about it. If there is a difference, please go ahead and let go of all the outdated practices. You remember the story of the cat and the pujari who, who ensured that before the prayer, the cat should be tied to the tree. Why? Because the cat was disturbing that person. But now there is no cat. The cat is also not disturbing, but then still... Uh, because we are following the tradition, go ahead, find a cat, tie it to the tree, and then the prayers will begin, right? So all breakout rooms will close in six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's in your life. How do you have a checkpoint? Being all this positive constraint we put upon. Yeah, so uh, there's a simple concept called as principle of uh, least regret. What do you regret the least? Okay. Uh, continuing the current path or being afraid of the new path, whichever you regret the least, do that. Like I'm doing ABC, which means I'm not doing DEF. Hmm. Are you worried that you're not doing DEF or are you sad that you're still doing ABC? Whichever you regret the least, go ahead and do that. Uh, that gives me an idea. Maybe I can write a, a detailed blog post on this question. Uh, right, and that might help you. Sure, we'll take some other questions as well. And there are two more questions, uh, Ajay, that I would like you to basically respond before we go to the next speaker. In the interest of time, Brijesh Dev has asked one question How does the leader in testing help in shaping careers of other testers? And there's one more question that Rohit is asking. Uh, maybe just for the interest of time, I'll just say that if you can rem remember, what if as a leader? I am trying my best, but the team is showing dull behavior and they respond less. So if you can answer these two questions, maybe that would be great. Sure. And then we can move on to the next speaker. Yeah. So how does the leader in testing help in shaping careers of other testers? Uh, leading by example is one concept. And then also talking with people. They might not be even interested in moving up. If they are interested, then you know, you just meet the expectations with the reality. Reality here being the opportunities, expectations being the wishes of those people. And uh, British, I think, uh, yeah, you can correct your name in Zoom. Uh, it misses the J. Uh, 
and rohit what if as a leader i'm trying my best but the team is showing dull behavior and they respond less see no one is demotivated by default let's understand that everyone has a spark it's just that we put out the spark unknowingly and then we think why is this person so dull talk to the person not about the work just talk find out the, about the personality do they like are they facing some challenges at home uh, are they going through some rough phase and then you will know that oh i was so harsh on this person or maybe that person was plain lazy maybe that person is not understanding the value of being in this position in this company so based on that take the next call do you guys do mentoring session uh, yes you can contact us okay uh, So what's the time? All right. Yeah, so I yeah, think we have run out of time. Yeah. Go yeah. Thank you so much. Five Thanks five. a lot, Rahul, for basically and Ajay, both of you. Varshita or Nagraj, can you do the thanking slide and then go to the next speaker if it's okay? Yes, yeah, sir. I will just share my screen. Sure. I'm. I hope you can see my screen. Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank um. You. So thank you so much, Ajay and Rahul, for such a wonderful session. it was extremely informative and we really appreciate you being here with us today thank you so much uh, we request